Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. It's 5.30. Like the shadow of a ghost. It's 5.30 in the morning. What better time could there possibly be for a live stream? Uh, anyway, there's nobody here now, but uh, I'm hopeful some of you will join me later like you did last time, and if not, that's fine. It's early. You can just watch the video later on. <laughs> you may recall that we just met Joshua Graham, and we've been sent to do a series of errands for him. I never actually looked at those quests. It might be a good time to do that now. So, we got a quest called Tourist Trap. We need to search the Zion General Store for five Little Scout lunch boxes and search the Zion Ranger Station for a medical supply kit. In Gone Fishing, we need to search the Zion Fishing Lodge for walkie-talkies. And in Roadside Attraction, we need to search the ruins of the crashed scout bus for a compass. Ah, good morning, Benjamin. Nice to see you. <laughs> Working out to New Vegas. Well, yeah, it's not exactly my idea of a workout pump-up jam, but you know, whatever works for you. Alright, so, let's loot all these goodies. Here on the upper level of the uh, Dead Horses camp. There's another there generic can't one. really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. <laughs> Uh, morning, Orchid. Actually, there is coffee in-game. Uh, it, it only came around as part of the Honest Hearts expansion, but you can now craft black coffee if you need to. Let me see what the ingredients are. Yeah, you need a coffee mug, a, cof a coffee pot, coyote tobacco chew, and the honey mesquite pod. Morning, Alexander. Nice to see you. Thank you for joining us. Uh, we just got... We just hit mild dehydration, so let's quaff some water. Someone said they they thought it wasn't nice of me to execute all the generic NPCs, but I mean they're they're generic. I mean Monica would tell us they're so far removed from real people they don't even have actual names. <laughs> all right, let's see. Survivalist's bounty discovered one of the survivalists' hidden caches. Oh yeah, so these are important. That handprint symbol signifies a survival cache, which is a series of collectibles of which there are, I believe, according to the challenge we just read, six. So that's it for the Dead Horses Camp and for the, uh, the Angel Cave. I'm going to fast travel to the Angel Cave just to have a shortcut down here to where I'm keeping my stuff. This is for stuff I want to keep, so that would be explosives. Ooh, including my very first plasma mine. Aid items. Remember to keep three sacred detour routes for another quest we'll have later. to head to um, the Fallen Rock Cave, which we passed on our way into here. I'll fast travel to make sure I'm at the right entrance. Good morning, Lone Wonder, and good morning, uh, Mercy UW. Uh, thank you for joining me. I appreciate you all being here. So here we are in Fallen Rock Cave, and those handprints generally signify a hideout for this character called the Survivalist, who, at the moment, 
truly all we know is this person's name. We got a tripwire to disarm. And indeed, there are a whole bunch of traps in these caves. And I want to make sure I disarm them all. Not so much because I'm worried about taking the damage, but because I want all the experience points. We got a couple of rigged shotguns that were presumably tied to the tripwire. Let's deal with those. There's a frag mine. And a couple things. Fungus. I think we're through that first one. Just keep going. Keep our eyes open. Hello, failure. Oh, tricky. Look, they uh, they never did this in three. I think it's pretty clever they did it in New Vegas. Now they've got upside down frag mines, so you can't rely on seeing. I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? They've turned some of the mines upside down, so you can't rely on seeing the light in order to spot them. Yeah, it's tricky. All right, well, we got traps this way. I don't see anything this way, so I think we'll go this way first. There's a frag mine. And a bunch more cave fungus. There's another upside down frag mine. Uh, see, now I'm alert to them. I'm getting better at spotting those. Right, down toward the bottom of this ramp, it looks like we've got another trip wire. Oh, and it's in some water. What was it tied to, I wonder? I would guess a grenade bouquet. Yep, there it is. I see it up top. I don't know if there's... I don't know if there's a good way to reach it or not. Given your understanding of explosives, it could be possible to disarm the grenade bouquet and collect the grenades. Like the shadow of a ghost. Yes, let's absolutely do that. Alright, so here's the, uh... Here's the back end. The back entrance, or back exit. Whichever you... So that's crapping out. There we go, let's see if it sticks around now. Getting some, uh, I'm getting some distortion in my headphones. Hold on, let me let me just reboot the whole audio system right quick. That's frequently enough to solve any problems. Mm, sounds like not this time. Let me try again. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, that's better. Nope, 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 lies. Alright, we got a tripwire here. And a frag mine just past it. Another frag mine right here that's rigged to blow up a propane tank where we'd accidentally detonate it. I think that tripwire was tied to this rigged shotgun, which is actually pointed at that propane tank, so somebody wanted to blow us the hell up. So I finally get to explore all those taboo places without the other scouts yelling at me? Can't wait. Okay, so there was a recharger pistol next to that skeleton. Not all that worthwhile, but 
It'll sell. slew of cave fungus here. I think for this cave, down is generally the way forward, so let's move, uh, let's move this direction. Of course, this is also down, but Doesn't look like we can get past this. Let's try the other direction. Doesn't look like we can get past that either. So what's the point of this little spot? Who knows. Alright, here's another tripwire. There's a frag mine covered up by a uh, hidden hidden by a teddy bear. We got to it in time. I forget my explosive skill is higher now, so I've got some lag time on the on the whole uh, disarming thing. <laughs> Two more rigged shotguns right there. So my carry weight is probably getting pretty high from all these shotguns, but oh, I'm actually doing okay. The so let's look around the rest of this spot. So we got scrap metal. We got a reloading bench footlocker. Some cave fungus here behind the bench. Batteries. Ammunition. Campfire sack. Why do you carry all those bottle caps anyway? They jangle like crazy. Oh, we can actually open these. I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I need to... Sorry, one of my dogs pushed the office door open, and there are others in this house trying to sleep, so I can't really allow that. Compliance regulator, what might that be? Good morning slash afternoon, Nyren. It's nice to see you. What is the compliance regulator, anyway? I don't even know. It's not showing up. How strange. Anyway, we'll get that cave fungus. And we've got another survival cache right here. As I say, this metal armor is going to be too much to carry. I'll make chalk carry that. Well then, let's get to trading. Oh wait, look at all this stuff. There's the compliance regulator. I wonder why it didn't show up. Critical strike paralysis for 10 seconds. That's pretty cool. Oh, look, he actually wants to wear it. I might, I might even let him. All right, let's activate the terminal. Zion National Park Network, year 2077 or year 2078? 2077, October 28th. Five days on foot, still can't sleep. 
Outside, it's like nothing happened. Sky looks wrong, that's all. Hike back to overturned Nat Guard truck near Tokerville? After blisters heal, maybe. Looks like USGS team was researching something here in cave. Cleared out when bombs fell, left equipment behind. Probably thought they had families to run back to. October 29th. Char must have said this out loud a thousand times walking here. Maybe writing it will feel more like you heard. Maybe writing it will feel more like you heard. You were right. I was north of Spanish... Took the 77 along Provo Bay to steer clear of town. Would have been home in an hour. Engine died. Truck just stopped. So did a Chrysler in other lane. Knew right away. First nuke hit SLC inside a minute. I was looking south. Lucky man. Flash behind me so bright, world looked on fire. Old couple from the Chrysler starts screaming they can't see. Didn't watch you die, Char. Saved my eyes. Counted 12 more flashes next 7 minutes. Ground shook each time 18 seconds later. When nothing hit for half hour, took a look. Globe of fire where you and Alex died. Didn't kid myself. Didn't know what to do. Grabbed my pack and rifle. Saw to the old couple. Sat them up against car. Let them hold and each other. Told them I was going to get help. Everything be okay. One bullet through both heads. Instant. Five day hike back to Zion. You told me. Stop running off to the wild. Man belongs with his family. You were right. You were right. You were right. Wasn't there to hold you and my boy. Died without me. Never touch you or him again. Should shoot myself what I deserve. Can't. Maybe soon. Uh, oh yeah. Thanks for pointing that out, Alexander. Now that I look at it, the stream health doesn't look good. Hold on, give me a second. I got a couple of things to tweak. shape now. I had, to, I had to tweak a few settings over at the uh, Wi-Fi access points. Alright. Hey everybody, thanks for, uh, thanks for sticking around while I tried to tweak that stuff. Hopefully things are going to be better now. So let's get back to this. October 31st. Black rain falling outside. Geiger jumping. Should let it kill me, but bottling water from back of cave all the same. November 2nd. Sounds dead outside, but can't look. Geiger goes lethal 15 feet from cave mouth. Do the math. Radiation goes down before water runs out, or I never leave this cave. Year 2078. January 1st. Happy New Year. Two months in cave. Still lethal outside. Don't get it. In army, they said two to four weeks cleared fallout. Less than a month's water left. Been mopping condensation off cave walls, rigging shirt into bottles, trading calories for H2O. Food stocks holding. Thanks, USGS. If there was even a chance I'd see the two of you again, I'd run outside. January 10th. Sounded like windstorm out there for two days. Radiation down 500. What happened? January 15th. Took a peek. Snow. It glows green. January 28th. Radiation low enough, I could risk short exposure outside. More important, cave stream now drinkable if I use rad drugs. 
January 30th. There is nothing alive out there. Alright, so there we go. Well then, let's get to trading. I'm gonna take nine of his bullets, because... Actually, I'm gonna take them all, because I think he gets ammo anyway. And I'll even take that hide armor. If he wants to wear the metal armor, then that's fine with me. Alright, that should be everything in here, so let's head out. I don't get it, my connection is uh my connection is actually better than it's been. It's probably my fucking neighbors raiding my bandwidth again. So anyway, let's <clears throat> we're gonna stash the compliance regulator, it's unique. We are of course going to stash all of our explosives, as we always do. something I wanted to keep. There. Uh, morning, Ellen. Morning, Soul Blazer. Uh, I'll, I'll warn you in advance, we seem to be having some internet hiccups this morning. Uh, this looks like the stream is fine right now, but it's been cutting in and out a little, so sorry about that. I'm not sure what the problem is, either. All of my, uh, all my access points look fine, including the one here at the at the actual computer, so and I'll science that out after I'm done streaming today, I suppose. To the extent I can anyway, but you know, sometimes shit just doesn't work. Well, we are on a shared loop, Orchid, because, you know, I just, I live on one of those streets where we don't exactly have a terrific broadband infrastructure. So, uh, part of the reason I try to record my videos at such weird hours, either, you know, in the afternoon on a day I happen to have off or early in the morning, is because the, uh, you know, the load on the shared loop is lower then, and so things tend to work out a little better. The shadow of a ghost. Okay. We're ready to leave this area now and get back to some more thorough exploring. Yeah, Ellen, that's a good point. It's a force of habit, I suppose, but I don't really need it, do I? Let's head to the welcome booth. I, mean, I guess it's so I can just quaff water if, uh, the second I need to without having to make my way to a river. Alright, I see a gecko from here. I was going to say I definitely saw another one, too. Uh, looks like he might not be in range. Yeah, there's something in the way there. But he is between me and where I want to go. Which is never a good decision. 
How's all this stuff grown? I've been through here already. I harvested this stuff once. It's like the whole area respawned after I visited. Okay, we're reconnected. And we're healthy. God, this is annoying. I'm sorry, guys. I really don't know what the problem is. Bet they don't have anything as nasty as Yao Guai out where you come from, huh? Alright, it looks like stream health is good again. This time I just ran a network diagnostic and that seemed to fix it for the moment. There's another Yao Guai. And the health turns. God damn it. <laughs> okay. This is getting out of hand. Let me, uh. I'm just trying to find the two gecko bodies so I don't lose track of them. Uh, well, I guess we're gonna fight this third Yao Guai, too. <laughs> now it's truly turn-based combat. Yeah, I hear ya. So... Once I'm... Alright, are we back? Are we back? Are we back? Yes, we're back. Alright, let's see how long it lasts this time. Hmm. I hope. I hope it actually lasts this time. Let's see. Anyway. Like the shadow of a ghost. I'm curious about what these red hash marks over here are. Oh Jesus Christ. Why? What the fuck is going on? Alright, well hold on, I'm not gonna do anything. Yeah, and I'm losing viewers too, because it's not freaking working. Okay. Hmm. What the fuck is the problem? Oh, pff, hey, it's healthy now. Who knows how long. Right, let's take advantage and shoot a gecko. So I thought, anyway. What the hell, is he, like, inside the rock or something? It's just straight up not working. Let's circle up a little. 
that time it hit the rock right in front of me. Oh, yeah, I guess he's I guess he's inside that rock, so it's not gonna work. Anyway. There can't really be a place where people go into big buildings and give away all their money just to watch someone flip paper squares on a table. Alright, we have reached Ranger Substation Peregrine. Picked up a few new map markers by doing so. There's a crashed scout bus to the south of us. Up here in the north, we've got the Zion Ranger Station, the General Store, and the Zion Fishing Lodge. And near us, we've got the Virgin River, the Two Skies Cave, the Old Rockville Bridge, an Ant Burrow, and a Virgin Fork Campground. Alright, let's check in with chat now. Uh, thanks for stopping by, Soul Blazer. Sorry it was so laggy and ridiculous. Uh, welcome, Karis. Nice to see you. Good morning. Mainly interested in whether that red mark I see is close to me or not. Looks like it is, but it's underneath me. So... Yeah, Ellen. It, yeah, Karis. Uh, Ellen. Ellen's right. It's been a, it's been a rough morning in terms of stream health. It's like the main reason I record this early too. But oh well. So let's loot out all the stuff here at the ground level of the ranger station. We got a Sunset Sarsaparilla, which I'll just go ahead and drink like I always do. There's definitely a gecko nearby. Locked ammo box. Another park ranger hat. And over here, a gun case. That uh, doesn't have anything I care about, but that's alright. Morning, St. Louis Rocker. Glad you got your coffee. Okay, alright. Onward. From here, well, I really want to find this gecko because his noises are bothering me. There. Excellent. Let's see, we got a Xander root. And from here, I want to head south. The spitter plants and the green monster men aren't. I need to head uh, head towards the crashed the scout bus, I so they came from. we can make our way down here. There's a gecko here that I apparently can't shoot. I tried a few times earlier and just kept hitting the rock. Oh, now it works. Uh, Ellen, my end game mating wep er, melee weapon is going to be the superheated Saturnite fist from Old World Blues it's the best unarmed weapon in the game. And I'm kind of building my character around the good unarmed perks. You could probably already tell that. Mm. 
Alright, another dead gecko. See this? This is why your own two feet are better than any cart. Whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. Alright, so we found the crashed scout bus. As, uh, as Ellen has reminded me already, anytime we're at the river, we should take the opportunity to take a drink, because the water is clean, and it'll stave off dehydration. Let's get all the stuff that's floating amongst these depressingly small skeletons. See what's back here behind the bus, too. Giant Yao Guai. Well, I didn't kill that. But whatever. Uh, good morning, Silent Pain. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining us. Alright, let's look through here. More of the same. But there is a broken compass. This compass is broken, but can possibly be restored to a fully functioning state. Repair of 30 or greater required. Take the broken compass with you. If you don't have the parts or the skills to make repairs in the field, you can take the broken compass to a workbench and fix it there. Completed search. Uh... Repair the broken compass at a workbench. Uh, the Fist of Rar. I'm actually... Uh-oh, hold on. Looks like we're gonna get ambushed. Uh, the superheated Saturnite Fist does more raw damage. It doesn't have the bonus critical damage that the Fist of Rar does. I am planning to do Lonesome Road last. So, I'll see this. This is why your own two feet are better than any cart, whether it's pulled by critters or goes on its own. So, I'll be uh I'll, I'll sort out which one is actually better when I get the Fist of Rar, but But the, uh, but the nice thing about the superheated Saturnite Fist is um, it makes use of the Pyromaniac perk because it has that fire damage effect stacked onto it. And to my knowledge, it's the only unarmed weapon that does. So if you, particularly if you factor in that damage bonus from Pyromaniac, then the, uh, I believe that makes it the most damaging unarmed weapon you can get. It looks like that ambush is going to come when I pick up the compass. Compass sensor module. And now we can repair it with parts. By replacing this compass's burned out sensor module rather than bypassing it, you can make the repair process much easier. Requires one compass sensor module. Leave it alone. Repair with parts. Repair without parts. Let's repair without parts. Repair the compass. Quest completed. Roadside attraction. And we're going to hit level 20. This is great. Alright, I want to raise medicine to 56. And let me... Let me see what else to do. All right, let's take barter up to 60. Let's take explosives to 60. Let's take medicine to 60. And then I'll put a point into guns. Uh, 
And we should get a perk this level too. I believe we've unlocked silent running, which is going to be phenomenal. Yes! Running no longer factors into a successful sneak attempt. Bam. Why do I always go for the survival modes? Uh, well, they in, in this game, the s silly, stupid, but nonetheless true answer is that there's an achievement tied to finishing it in hardcore mode. <laughs> and uh, I'm obsessively completionist like that, as people who know me are aware. And the second is, I always... I always like to go for the most challenging playthrough I possibly can, and uh, survival modes enable that. Of course, the survival mode in uh, Fallout 4 is significantly harder than any of the other survival modes, <laughs> so I'm still trying to figure out a good way to retool not only my character builds, but in fact my entire loot everything play style in order to make it work with that one and its severely limited carrying capacity. Sorry for the pause, I just need a drink of water. All right. With that done, I think it's a good time for a quick offload before we get back to exploring. Let's just drop some stuff here. I don't need to hold on to any of that or that. Sell that I can sell that I can sell. I'm holding on to all these that I can sell. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that. That. Hold. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna hold. Sell. Sell. All right. How long does it take me to map out a game of this? Map out everything on a game of this size? Well, I mean, look at my uh, look at my other playthroughs of games this big. It took me, I think, uh, well, I can't remember the exact numbers, but it took me over 150 videos in Morrowind, and it took me over 200 to do all of Skyrim. So. Oh, Joshua's outside. Jalapeno, pepper, and maize. <coughs> Excuse me. This is my stuff for sale. What did I... Where did I pick up all that extra weight? Something I missed. Oh, yeah. All of this simply for sale stuff. There we go. Much better. Alright. Let's head back to the uh, welcome booth again. And this time we're gonna. What the heck? Caution. Where? What? Hmm. I don't like this. And we're gonna get back on the road. Man, I forgot how. F I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? Yeah, the respawn on this thing is nuts. It's one thing I really don't like about this expansion is. Cleared areas don't stay clear, as you can see. Whoa.
Come on, super slam. Like the shadow of a ghost. Number one, I'm mad that I didn't get to kill that gecko. Number two, I'm kind of mad that the respawn rate is that ridiculous. Like, I literally just cleared this area. Oh well. Alright, let's follow the road now and head to the northwest. We've already been back there. That's the southern passage that we came through. We've been up there to the top of the spine, but we haven't been up the road this direction, and that's where we're headed now. Gunfire generally is going to mean a white leg. You know, if I can actually find him. down here. Nope, there's a monster. There's a critter trapped in the rock here. <laughs> Have to use the carry weight cheat. Fighting time! Oh, I definitely understand that urge. I feel the same way. Might as well nail them with a feather. Hmm, it's not working. Okay, I was gonna say, what the hell, where are they? Oh, he's got a shish kebab. <laughs> Haven't seen that yet in this game. Well, I really don't want him to go all the way into the river, so... Let's see if we can maybe figure a way around that. Oh, we're lagging again? Okay. Let me finish this fight and then I'll try and sort it out. Always knows we're north. Is, huh? Even if you can't see the stars. All right, let me go. Let's pick up his shish kebab. Not that I particularly want to use it, but it's always just fun. All right, where did the pain maker's corpse land? That's what I can't. There it is. All right. Let's see if we can uh, get our stream health back again.
All right. Let me let me save and see if I can figure out what the problem is this time. Yeah, that's what I thought. All right, hold on. All right, hold on just a second. that do it? Uh, on my end, the help is back to green. A silent pain on hardcore mode, your, uh, your allies still do regenerate health, so... I got hungry, so I'll eat one of my Ruby's casseroles. Now we should be at the old Rockville Bridge. Yay, we are. Good. Okay. We got it on the map. Let's go through the... Uh, let's hit the top of the bridge first. Not that there's much to find. We'll clear the vegetation off either end of it. Looked like a PowerPoint presentation when you were trying to stream. Yeah, I get that. It, uh... Oh, fuck. Where are they? Fucking white legs. I hear you, but I don't see you. And anyway, we need to look uh we need to look under the bridge too. Let's make our way down to the water. Look sharp. Lots of giant ants around here. Thanks for the tip, follows chalk. I'm not uh something from that wind, I guess. What the fuck? Oh, white legs. Bunch of them. I'm a little woozy. What, did he just... Yeah, he poisoned me. Now I've gotten derailed. This isn't even where I wanted to be, so... Sorry, we're gonna reload. <laughs> yeah, they, they baited me into exploring out of the order I wanted, so... Let's try and keep it contained this time. <laughs> Thank you for that, Benjamin. I'm a big fan of the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Let's just drop down this way. That'll probably be cleaner. There's not really anything super valuable under here anyway, it looks like. Just a couple little plant life, but see the white markings over there? That's where I want to go. where those shots are coming from. I don't know what they're shooting at. Frankly, I don't care. Well, what am I seeing over here? Really be a place where people go into big buildings and give them <laughs> Someone flip paper squares on the table. Large dog. 
Alright, well here is Two Skies Cave. Check the body of that dog. Don't worry about that plant life later. I'm going to grab a drink and we're going to head in here. I've got about 20 minutes left to stream this morning. Just if you guys are wondering what my timing is. So let's head inside. So this is another survivalist hideaway. Those uh, white marks should make that pretty obvious. Uh, no, silent. I have all of the. Im I have all the implants installed, including the including the monocyte breeder. So I'm, my health is regenerating, but and a, as you say, it goes slowly. But you know, if you're not in combat and you're fast traveling around, your your health will essentially refill on its own. Oh, we just got cut off completely. Why the hell? Oh, and we're back. Not only that, we're back in good health. I swear to God. <laughs> oh well. Okay, let's see. I'm gonna go left first. But I'm. I was going to say I need to figure out what that first tripwire was tied to. And the answer would be that rigged shotgun. That looked like a harvestable cave fungus, but I guess it's not. Trespassers will be shot. We got an average locked terminal here. We're able to open this by now. Well, we haven't hacked a computer in a long time. Identical. Zero out of... And I've got five emails on my phone. Sorry, I need to make sure none of them are from work. That one's not. That one's not. That one's not. That one's not. And that one's not. That's the best kind of news. Alright. Headset's back on, too. Alright, let's... Fear... Alright, that matches zero. That's a one out of nine. Identical. Identical. Well, it certainly can't start with I. Identical. Alright. And fearfully. Alright, that one works. That's not it. I dent nope. Identical. Fearfully. Uh, okay, that one doesn't work. Identical. That one works. Fearfully. That one works. Repellent. All right, brutality works, but I don't want to hit it since I only have one attempt left. Identical. Fearfully. Okay, that one doesn't work. Identical. Fearfully. That one doesn't work. Identical. Fearfully. Repel. Okay, that one doesn't work. 
identical. That one doesn't work. Identical. Fearfully. Reap. Okay, brutality is the only one that works. Good. Electric door control. Yes. So now we can get through here. Activate electric generator. Well, presumably there's a there's a back way into here in case you can't uh, can't hack the terminal. I hear some odd things about the civilized lands outside Zion. Is there really a giant thunder lizard people live inside? No, 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 no. I just want the can, but I guess it's inside the texture brush and we're not going to be able to pick it up. And that's fine. Mm-hmm. Now let's check out the little shelter he built for himself. A little bit of food. Check out these shelves. Or plastic explosive with a detonator. Like the shadow of a ghost. That's three out of six of his uh, his caches. That's nice. Very easy locked explosives crate. Everybody settle down. I think I lost one bobby pin. There it is. I've got back behind the reloading bench. Easy locked explosives crate. And hold on, I just got another email. man. Alright. Let's get the crate open. Alright, now it's time to check the terminal. Zion National Park Network, year 2083. May 5th. The comeback goes on. Add prickly pear to list of survivors with honey mesquite and banana yucca. Odd nodules mutations, but safe to eat. Harvesting oh so careful, never take more than a fifth. Mouth waters every time I'm about to eat something that isn't from a can. May 7th. Clouds of those stinging flies near fallen tree I call the napper. Little flashes in the cloud. Something dragonfly sized that zaps them midair then scoops them up. Something new. May 19th. Bighorn sheep, a family, ram, you, and little one. Fucking goddammit. May 20th. The sheep were different. Brawny. You had curved horns just like the ram. Seen some tiny lizards, but this is first time seeing animals that big. Fingers crossed. Five to ten years breeding. Fresh meat, hides, horns. I know it's time to go back, Char, when winter has passed. Year 2084. June 14th. Just got back, tired, good scrounging along the way, ended up dragging back a cart of stuff. Right tomorrow, sleep. June 15th. Departed April 10th. Walked to SLC, took 15 days. Would have been 7 to 9 back in the old days, but had to circle pockets of radiation and foraged along the way. Don't know what I was thinking. Imagined I'd find my house, dig through rubble, find something. Your bones, I hoped, and little nuts. Would have buried them. 
Here in Zion, maybe. SLC is mostly craters. Warped steel girders where high-rises sat. Mounds of bricks. Never found our house. Didn't even find street. What wasn't a crater was scorched clean. Want to believe it was fast. A flash. Both of you vaporized. Lies to make me feel better. I'll never know. Which part of city got hit first? Northeast, and you both died in a blink. Farther away, and you burned alive screaming. Are the blast broken glass and bits of brick and wood splinters shredding you like hamburger? Look at it, coward, and listen. Don't turn away. Face it. If you'd been brave, lucky man, you would have found a spot and blown your brains out. But not you. You took your time walking back. Made a shopping trip of it. Scrounger. The truck was still there on the 77 north of Spanish Fork. The Chrysler's too, but no sign of the old couple's bones. Outside Nephi, I caught a trail. Three men, tracks heading toward Fountain Green. Thought about following, but didn't. Stupid fantasy of friends, more likely cannibals. June 20th. Took two days to build door and electrify it. No solidifying assholes. Home sweet fucking home. Year 2095. September 20th. I count 28 of them. 11 adult males, 8 females, 9 children aged 2 to 10. Some rifles and pistols in bad repair. Old world clothes. Ratty. September 22nd. Got close enough last night to hear them talk. Spanish, I think. From Mexico? Heard them say Paradiso a bunch. Think that means paradise. Here to stay, then. Seem harmless. Seem. October 5th. The one I call Maria is pregnant. Think the father is Jose, but she spends a lot of time with Pablo, too. October 7th. Pedro ran out to pee in the stream and would have seen me if he looked to his left. Too close. Need to give them space. November 10th. Jose broke his leg chasing a bighorn. Too far from camp for them to hear. Told myself to leave it be, but couldn't. 300 yards from their camp did my best Jose screaming imitation until a bunch of them came looking, then strung them along to the crest where they could hear the real Jose. Probably useless. Compound fracture broke the skin. November 11th. Infection. So many goddamn words nearly the same think I'd be fluent. But anyway, Jose's leg has got it, so he's going to die. Nature for you. Of course, they're giving prayer a try. November 12th. Left bottle of antibiotics on a rock outside their camp last night. They thanked God, Dios, of course. As though that asshole saw fit to burn the world, but still cared enough to leave some medicine on a rock. November 15th. Jose will always limp, but otherwise he'll be okay. Good deed for the month. Will they make it through the winter? All right. So now let's check this locked door here. Plasma mine. If I remember right, yes, there's a second plasma mine. Alright, let's see what's back here. Water, obviously. Anything else, or is it just. Just a big old water cave. The way I heard it, salt upon wounds butchered everyone in New Canaan. And made their corpses to the Looks cliffs. like it's just the water. Okay, cool. I hope so. OBS has good uptime now. And we're back. Oh, you know, Nyron, that's a... That's a fairly good point, but uh, uh, this is the, I mean, since we, you know, since we went throughout the house and installed all the uh, Wi-Fi boosters, this is kind of the, this is the first time I've really had any issues. So, yeah, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what the right answer is, but anyway, let me, 
offload all the stuff I've picked up here. So this is stuff I want to keep. So that would be my explosives, of course. Firebomb. Don't need any of that. And lastly, we're going to dump off our ammunition. In here goes stuff we just want to sell, of which there is a bunch. head back to Two Skies Cave. And I have exactly one minute left. <laughs> so I'm just gonna I'm gonna go get my next location on the map and then we're going to call it good. And we'll bag a big corner on the way, because why not? Take the honey mesquite, get the big horner meat. Get another honey mesquite. And we should get the Virgin River as a location when we get out to the middle of the water. Here. And... This is where I'm going to leave you for the morning. So thank you for sticking with me. Thank you for joining me this morning in the first place. I am sorry about the issues that we had. I'm going to do some investigating later today to see if I can figure out what caused that, because that's truly the first time I've had any problems in weeks since we put those access points around the house. So uh, thank you so much for being here. Uh, next next stream is uh, probably going to be over the weekend. I never know exactly what my plans are going to be, but as I typically do, uh, on the weekends we'll be working on side projects. So I'm thinking if I can get two streams in, one of them I'm going to try to tackle a survival plus mode in Resident Evil 7, the 21 game, and in the other one we will continue through Penumbra. I think that if we can get a even just a two-hour stream in, we can probably go ahead and finish the Black Plague episode of Penumbra. It's pretty short. So anyway, I hope to see you then. Until then, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you all have a very pleasant day. Bye-bye. <laughs>